In this video, we're gonna be using PAA Diver Down and the WEC Hair Shaper. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. And if it's your first time here, hope you'll consider subscribing below. Welcome aboard, I really appreciate you. Okay, so as mentioned before, today, we're gonna to be using Diver Down by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This was sent to me by Phoenix Shaving for uh, evaluation and there's a giveaway opportunity. We'll talk a little bit about that later. Anyway, Diver Down and this, let me just say at the onset, if you like Old Spice sort of scents in that realm, you'll probably like this. If you hate, absolutely hate Old Spice type scents, you may not like this, but to me, Really, really nice scent strength um, off the tub here. i say a good solid six, maybe 6.5. Smells stronger to me now than it did during the unboxing. So nice, heavy fragrance. Or It's not super heavy, but it's good scent strength. Let's put it that way. This is based on Seaforth Spiced Aftershave that came about, I think, in the 1930s uh, after Old Spice. And it is, to me, the best way to describe it is like Old Spice. I'll put the notes for you right here, at least the way PAA describes it. Spice rum, myrrh, a uh, little cinnamon, spike nerd or spike nerd, I don't know how you say that. Really nice scent if you're a fan of vintage throwback aftershaves. And uh, so Douglas uh, brought this one back because it's one of those scents that was all but lost. And so we're looking forward to using it today. We're also going to be using the Weck Hair Shaper, which I've recently Acquired sixth shave on this blade, so I've used the WEC six times now, and you just really have to be careful uh, with the WEC. So we've got our soap mixed up. Let's go ahead and go for some pre-shave, though. So this is just plain water in a mister, and that's just how I uh, miss my face. 24 hours growth, just standard. You'll see the white stubble there. Wet that down, and we'll roll with a little PAA cube, which I've used not quite half of. I'm telling you, these things last forever. It's a, it's a good value. These things last a long time. And, you know, whether they're necessary or not, it's completely up to you. But they certainly do not hurt. And we'll work that in a little bit. Or at least try to. Sometimes if you put the pre-shaves on, it'll set under your soap. And since I don't scrub my face... With a brush, um, oftentimes I forget to do this, but it's easier just to sort of work that in a little bit. At worst, folks, you're gonna boost your lather, at worst, with a pre-shave soap. With a pre-shave oil, well, that's different. You can actually adversely affect the lather. Uh, but with a pre-shave soap, you're not gonna hurt the lather. Okay, let's set aside our diver down. Really nice scent on this. Uh, let's talk about the cost, because I didn't talk about that real quick. The CK6 formula, on a cost chart, it is $24.95 for five ounces. That is $4.99, fair price. If it's available in their regular CK formula, that is $14.95 for four ounces, $3.73 an ounce, good price. So let's get going. Oh, also, uh, I used a little chill mill to get a little menthol going here because I think the menthol will go well with this soap. And we have whipped it up with our That Darn Rob, Rob brush which is really nice. It's got an AP Shave Co. Uh, two bed, synthetic, not on it. The uh, JR Ray is put in there for me. Thank you again, JR, if you happen to see this video. And this smells very nice on the face. You know, you're not gonna have any quality problems with Phoenix soaps. They have reached a level of quality that is quite good. I think pretty much universally, um, stated at this point that in terms of vegan soaps, it is one of the best. Some people feel the absolute best. And so I primarily use tallow soap. So, you know, I can't really say I'm not a, I'm not somebody who has a tre tremendous amount of experience. I mean, I use vegan soaps too, but primarily I use, I like tallow. I mean, it could be in my head, but a lot of times I think the tallow just lends itself to a more creamy lather. But as you can see here, this is a, a very good quality lather. That TDR brush, by the way, I love it. We'll, we'll give you another look at it next go. Um, but anyway, the ingredients on this real quick, we'll show it to you right there. This is a heavily buttered um, 
vegan cream. It is good quality. There's just no question about it. And let's get going with our wick today and try to be gentle in terms of easy, light hand, which is what it requires in my view. Now I saw DK using a wick uh, the other day, yesterday or whenever that was. And he was saying they don't feel threatening and they do not, but they are sharp. And if you get too heavy handed with them, you'll know. <laughs> Because if you if you put if you use pressure or too much pressure, or you come to that, you come to your face with this razor and put it on there the wrong way, it will cut you. And in my opinion, easier than with a straight. And so that's why we say you really have to be mindful of your technique when using these shavettes because they are sharp in a different way from straights. These blades, and I'm using the Persona Hair Shaper blades, um, they're very, very sharp. And although straight blades, straight razor blades are very sharp as well, these are sharp in a different way. Like these would be what people call scary sharp. Um, it's not scary, but again, I would just call it uh, sharp in a different way way and it, it just for me requires a little more caution especially when putting that blade to the face now this particular whack is a little smaller than my red one so it doesn't have that weight but i can tell you it cuts well i mean it's it's the blade doing all the work anyway the whack here just holds it and i bought the blue one because i just love blue Just love blue. And uh, it's doing a great job today. And the soap smells great. It really has that nice throwback, you know, old school aftershave sort of uh, vibe to it. And we thank Douglas and Fran for allowing us to try this one and do a giveaway. So if you want to know about the giveaway, go to my Instagram account. I'll put it right there for you what it is. And watch Real Talk from last night. And that will tell you how to enter this giveaway. If you should desire to do so. To win a diver down. Shaving soap. I did not ask Douglas whether he was going to give away a whole set. Or not. Maybe I'll clarify that uh, later. But either way. You know. You can win something. So who doesn't want to win something? You know. All right. Let's. Wet the face again. So here's our TDR brush, which I got a little lather on the handle there. Just, just fantastic. Brilliant craftsman, that darn Rob. Just love his stuff. Just love his style, you know? And not every style is for everyone in terms of brush making, you know, aesthetically. We all have preferences and labels and, you know, it doesn't make one bad necessarily. You know, like that brush that David Gonzalez showed on the live, you know. Uh, that is not for me. It doesn't make it bad. I mean, I don't like that particular one that he showed. And Junior, uh, the dude of shaving, will know what I'm talking about. Because we, we had so much fun with that brush. Um, but, you know, keep in mind that taste and brushes is subjective, you know. And so there's no right or wrong way to make brush handles, but I think these look refined and classy, and that's why I really like TDR's work. Okay, let's cut that down a little bit there, and get on with our next pass. The soap just smells great, and it's, it really has that a wonderful retro vibe. It's a great performing soap. You know that already, or if you don't know, you should know. You should know. Okay, light touch here. And again, I have to be careful when putting the blade to my face because that's when I tend to get careless, typically. Just when putting the blade to my face. But boy, this uh, this Persona Hair Shaper blade still cutting quite well. 
on uh, shave number six here. Some people say they tone down a little bit over time. I can't validate it. Here's the Dr. Matt cloth. I believe Dr. Matt's daughter makes these. And this was kindly sent to me by a viewer. Thank you, sir. And what it does is you just use it to sort of get a grip because that is slick still. With that residual slickness. Very nice. I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a little feedback with this razor. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can, but it, it is certainly there. Very good shaver, very good shaver. I think I almost, I mean, granted, I've only used this one, the WEC six times, but I think I'm preferring this to the, to the Feather um, SS that I have. There's just something about it and I can't really nail it. Maybe it's that these blades are longer and it's more like a straight. Um, I'm not sure. But I will say these blades are certainly super sharp, especially when you first get them. They're going to tone down a little bit, obviously. Every blade, as you use it, it's going to gradually, gradually become less sharp. But I, I think these are certainly... Starting to tone down a little bit, but still very, very effective. By the way, if you haven't seen Dr. Matt's videos, check him out. He has a lot of honing videos and straight razor shaves and so on. I don't know him well, but he seems to be a nice guy and will uh, you know one who likes to share his knowledge. It's one of those things, uh, you'll have some people who agree with his honing philosophies and some who don't, but... What I've learned about honing is that every single person seems to have different ideas, but most of them, I think, get to the same end point. And so hone however you like, you know, and get the edge you want and don't worry about, you know, if the stallion does it one way and Dr. Matt does it one way and that guy Keith Johnson, who I don't know, um, does it another way. They all have strong thoughts and opinions, but you hone in the way that you want to hone and enjoy, most importantly. Like, I'm enjoying this soap today. The menthol is kicking in. I must say, I agree with DK. The real menthol is the best when it comes to chilling. That synthetic men menthol, uh, DK has referenced this many times. It produces sort of like a tingly feeling, not cold, for me and for DK. But the menthol, you just legitimately get that chill. And I find that the best way to get it in there, even better than the drops, is just the friggin' menthol crystals. And if the chill mill, which I showed you there, is an excellent way to do it. You just grind them and put a little in your soap and you're mixing it up, or your aftershave or whatever. Mix it up and you got the cooling going. And this menthol pills uh, pairs very well with this soap. Again, think Old Spice. Do not think exact dupe of Old Spice because it's not that. So if you want something re uh, really close to Old Spice, try Cold Spice from PAA, which I have and I like a lot. Um, this one is just in the realm of, so I don't want anyone to think this is a an Old Spice clone, but it certainly is reminiscent of it. And if you like Old Spice, I think you might like this one. This one I think is going to go up for sale sometime this weekend. I don't know if it's going to be Friday night or today, which is Saturday. Um, but it'll be going on sale at some point. I should straighten that lather. Oh, got a little lather on my handle there. Just... i tell you one thing. This PA, <laughs> it, it will lather. It definitely makes, uh, I think, what DK calls a... A high structure lather, meaning it's it's got pretty good volume to it. Um, I call it, as you know, a shaving lather, no matter what kind of lather I make. All right. Let's do our final little work on the, the neck here, and then we'll come across the grain and finish this baby out. And we do have the splash to try, which I believe might have some menthol in it. 
I'm not 100% sure on that, but we'll see. I want to thank, and if you're still watching at this point, I really want to thank Dave Card. Let's, let's just put it this way. Dom and Dave and the Swedish Three. Dave Card, Johan Solo from Shaven Butcher, Maddie Lindholm, Frank Stromberg, for turning me on to these WEX because they were the guys that I saw using them and uh, they inspired me to use these. And I think that every time I use them, it helps it helps me develop more technique. I think primarily because of the extra care I have to use. And, you know, being easy when I put them to my face and trying to just remain focused. They will definitely up your focus game because if you're not focused, as Frank said the other day, they will kiss you or show their affection. <laughs> and uh, when they show their affection, it sort of leaves a... Crimson Reminder, as I like to call it. So, when the wet kisses you, you know you've been kissed. And it kisses many people and has kissed me before. And it just makes you want to get better. At least me. That's the way I look at it, you know. And I think it's a, just a, an enjoyable challenge. And I hope if you use them, you appreciate them too. I've seen Jeremy Tyler use them. Uh, saw, as I mentioned before, DK use them. I think we've seen Marion use them. I haven't seen Marion use them lately. Pull out that wick, Marion. Let's see that wick shave, Marion. And so, I'm I'm not doing a tag here, but I just want to say. If you have a wet, see, I got myself a little bit down there, sleeping. But that's okay. Nothing that we won't handle in the alum and the rinse. So the wet has shown me a little bit of <laughs> affection right there. But that's okay. And you'll notice how, how careful I try to be. when I put this baby to my face, because let me tell you, it will give you a kiss. It will show its affection. All right, so there we go. Let me wipe this off, and then uh, we'll rinse and get into the post, stay tuned. All right, and we dry it off, off cam with our Lancaster. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, and I'll put links to the things that are, are available below. And look for this diaper down sometime this weekend. Um, Douglas wasn't sure when it was going to be released. Ah, let's rub that in. By the way, off cam, we used the PAA uh, alum with dry dock again. The purpose of this, allow the alum block to dry. So far, it's holding up very well. I've been using it most every day. So quick review before we get to the splash. Diver down, really nice. If you like Old Spice, check it out. Really, really nice. We used the That Darn Rob brush with the AP Shade Co. Two Bed Synthetic. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, That Darn Rob. Beautiful work. We used the Weck Hair Shaper. It did show a little bit of affection down there, so it wasn't a perfect shave, but it was a very comfortable shave and a very enjoyable shave. And we shall finish off with the Diver Down Aftershave, which I believe might have some menthol in it. Or if it doesn't have menthol, I think there's something that might do a bit of cooling. I don't know. I don't see menthol here, but who knows? <laughs> so, this is the way I do PAA. I know Douglas has a video on how to do it, but I put my finger over the top, hand out, and just control the flow with my finger. No big problem. And we slap it on. Ah, yes. We slap some on the dome because we never miss an opportunity to do that. And we are ready to go. Excellent. I hope you folks have an excellent Thursday. Again, if you want to be in on the giveaway for this stuff, go to the uh, IMCDB Instagram. Check out the Real Talk Show from Friday evening and do what it says. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, CDB. Remind you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.